In this video, I am going to show you how you can fix the Qualcomm Crash Dump Mode error on any OnePlus device. So this method or any other method to fix this problem will erase all your data. So if you have taken the backup of your data previously, so you can restore it later on after fixing your device. But if you have not taken it, then there is no way that you can restore this data. So keep that in mind and please download all the files from the description below for your specific device. And keep it in a separate folder so that it will be easier for you to navigate along the video. So my name is Rohit and you are watching Sneptex. So let's get started. So suppose your device is stuck in Qualcomm Crash Dump mode and you will be on this kind of screen. I am in Fastboot currently. But you might be on some message like this. And uh, to shut down your phone after that, you just need to hold your volume up and power button all at once until it gets turned off completely. So as you can see, our device turned off forcefully and after this, you need to move back to your computer. So in the description below, you will have download links for your specific device as well as you will also have a download link for a driver. You need to just download both of it like I have did over here. This is the driver file and this is the file for my OnePlus 70 which I am currently trying to fix. So once you download both the files, you need to extract this zip file. So I will do that. You can use any software. So here I am using 7-zip. So once your file gets extracted, you just need to click on this Windows icon. So you might be on Windows 10 as well, you will have the same icon. And you need, just need to search CMD. And once you see this command promote, just click right click and click on run as administrator. And this window will open. After that you just need to type bcd edit forward slash set test signing on and press enter. There is a high chance that you will have this error that this policy is secured by secure boot policy or something like that. So if you face something like that, there will be a video link on top right corner of this video itself. You can just go there and turn off the secure boot policy. After which you can just continue with this step. You will get this command that operation is completed successfully. So if it already completed for you successfully, then you just need to close this window and you need to just restart your PC for once. So once you restart your PC, on the right bottom corner of your screen, you can see this test mode thing. And once it's there, that means the test signing has been successfully turned on. After that, you can just open the folder where you have downloaded the files. And then just click on this win 1.1 installer, which is the driver file. And just double click on it and it will get opened. Just you have to click on run. And once you click on run, it will start the installation process. And after that, you just need to select your specific thing. If like if you are connected over Wi-Fi, just select WLAN. And if you are connected over Ethernet, just select Ethernet. But for now, I'll just select WLAN because I'm connected over Wi-Fi. Then click on Next. Then click on Next. Accept the terms and agreements. If you want to read it, you can do it as well. After that, just click on Next again. And just click on Install. It will successfully get installed on your device. After this, you just need to click on Finish. And as you know, in first step, we extracted this folder and this is the extracted file that we got after extracting it. You just need to open it, then again open it until you see all these files over here. And once you see all these files, just click on this MSM download tool. So once you open this, you may or you may not see this login option. And if you do, just keep it at others itself and click on next. I will run the software, so this is the software that we wanted to install. So it's currently running as we can see right here. And once it's get open, you need to connect your device in MSM mode to your PC. So I, have, I will tell you how you can do it right now. So you can see that one end of my USB Type-C has been already connected to my PC. And the other end I will connect in MSM mode with my mobile phone. So here it is. So all you have to do is you have to just hold volume up and volume down key all at once. Don't hold the power key, just volume up and hold down button will be enough. Keep holding it and connect your device to your PC. And once you do that, just select the target. And I'm in India, so I'm selecting India and you can select your desired country. And click on enum. Once you do that, if you see this connected icon on your screen, just click on start. And once you click on start, the process of installation will get started and don't leave the volume button for now just keep it like that for a while
And once you see this downloading super.img to super, you can just leave the volume key and keep your device at still at some place. So this whole process of installation will take at least 5 minutes. So you just need to sit back and relax as your device will automatically turn on once the software has been installed and the device has been fixed. And if you are watching this video till now, a sub to the channel will be really really appreciated. So once the process has been completed, your phone will directly boot into your system. So you can see this green icon download complete. Now you can disconnect your device once you see that. And as you can see, we are already booting into our device. And you can see the boot logo already. And as you can see, our phone has started just like new. So this is how you can resolve the Qualcomm Crash Remote error on your OnePlus device. But even after this, if your issue is not resolved, that means there is some hardware issue with your device. So if your device is in warranty, you can go to the OnePlus service center to get it resolved and fixed. So it will be completely free of charge but if it's not under warranty, so you can go to any service center or OnePlus, whatever feels good to you and get your device fixed with some amount of money of course. So this is it for this video, I'll meet you in the next one, Sneptech signing out.